Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Merlin Neptune 2 WP textile jacket. Merlin are one of motorcycling's underrated brands in my opinion. A lot of their kit goes under the radar, but it's actually really quite decent stuff that's neatly thought out and uses good quality materials. That's just the same with this Neptune 2 WP jacket, which I think is well worth looking at in detail. The outer fabric on the Neptune 2 is a heavyweight 700 denier polyester, and then there's even heavier duty 1000 denier ballistic nylon instead at the shoulders and the elbows. There's good amounts of light reflective material across the front, the back, and on the sleeves, so car headlights should light you up from all directions. There are fit adjusters above and below the elbows to help keep that armor positioned properly, and then there are additional adjusters at the waist. All of those are Velcro belts. There's also a drawstring at the lower hem that helps create a good seal to trousers. There are air vents on each side of the chest, just here, and inside there's a reinforcing band of fabric just there. That means the vent is more likely to stay open than if that material was all just a mesh. It's the same arrangement either side of the back as well. The effectiveness of those vents is limited though as there's a waterproof liner behind there. So air will make the liner cooler in theory and it will have some effect, but it's not as much as if you have a direct vent like you'd have on a jacket where the waterproof membrane is removable or a posh laminated one where that membrane comes apart when you undo the vent. This one has a fixed drop liner, so it's always in place. But this is a £199.99 jacket as we record this video anyway, and having a fixed liner like that is the norm for a jacket of that sort of price. The Neptune 2 WP jacket fastens with a fairly conventional zip that's then guarded by this storm flap that secures over the top with both Velcro and some poppers. The collar does up with a press stud, and that has a base plate with five stops so you can fine tune the fit around the neck to suit what you're looking for. If you want to keep the collar tab out of the way, this loop secures on this hook to keep it out of the way. The cuffs on the Neptune 2 are pretty basic, but they do the job well enough. They're relatively snug, but I could get the cuffs from a reasonably chunky pair of mid-season gloves inside there. Fans of pockets, if there are such things, will love this jacket as there are nine of them on the outside. You get one, two, three, and four on this side of the main zip, and then it's the mirror image on the other side to give you another four, and then there's the pretty common pocket you'll find on a jacket like this, which sits at the lower back. So that's the outside dealt with on this jacket, let's move to the inside. That waterproof and breathable membrane that I mentioned earlier, that's a Risa Active Liner, which has a degree of stretch in the material, and that brings a bit of extra flexibility. There's also a removable thermal liner, which has a weight of 125 GSM, so it's pretty substantial, and it has sleeves for full coverage against the chill. There's D3O body armor, so you know it's decent quality kit, and it has a full set, shoulders, elbows, and back. Those protectors all meet the basic level one of the CE standard, and the back protector is a full back protector, not just the central spine protector that some D3O protected jackets come supplied with. Overall, in the sense of protection, the Neptune 2 WP jacket meets the middle level of the CE standard, that's AA. So pockets on the inside, there's a Napoleon pocket in the main shell just behind the main zip here, and then there are two further pockets in the thermal liner. Those aren't duplicated in the main outer shell. So if you're riding with the lining in, that thermal lining in place, you get a total of 12 pockets, and if you've taken that liner out, you've still got 10 places to stash your stuff. Finally, when we're talking about the inside, there's a short connection zip that allows this jacket to attach to trousers. There are matching Neptune 2 WP trousers, which are a similar construction, and cost £159.99. So as a combination, you're looking at 360 quid for both the jacket and the matching trousers. In the miles that I covered in this jacket, I found it best suited to slightly cooler conditions, really, as those vents can't flow much air, and that's not the best solution when it's really hot outside. But the build quality is good, as are the comfort levels, and I think it will suit the vast majority of the riding conditions we face in this country. So as I said, Merlin are an underrated brand and their materials are often a higher quality than other kit of a similar sort of price. This is the same and it really has a good quality for that £200 price. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Merlin Neptune 2 WP textile jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.